starting this video off with a huge, huge heavy heart. It has, uh, has absolutely nothing to do with the squirrel. What it has to do with is the fact that the automotive community, in my opinion, this is where you talk about like somebody that's an icon. This guy right here. This is the guy we lost. Ken Block. It did take quite a while to, what do you, what do you think? This one was a little bit more tougher. <laughs> so this one was a little bit more of a pain in the neck, but he is in there. So I'm just going to let him have his, uh, have his nuts and have his water and let him be able to chill out for a little bit. This one and I are definitely having a little bit of a battle here. I'm trying to gain his trust. It's very tough. Um, I do think this is the male. So, trying to just be calm as I can with him, but he definitely has a little bit more of a attitude. He does not like the gloves. And I'm saying he just because that's what I feel it is. I do feel this is the male. Um, this one definitely has more, more aggression. Uh, than the other one. The other one was a lot easier to capture. This one, as soon as it sees the gloves, it, it has a an episode. And again, what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm trying to get it used to not humans. I mean, it, it needs to have a very healthy fear of humans, but I'm trying to get it used to the inevitable grab that's got to happen. Um, Without my wife being here because she's not here right now, it's going to be a little bit tough because I think what I'm trying to figure out is I'm trying to figure out timing. I'm trying to figure out when's the best point because right now, where he is right now, um, he's, he's finally kind of coming down to this area where I was able to pin and grab the other one. This one keeps going up top, but like I said, he's, he's finally kind of coming down to this location here and you can see he's getting tired which is kind of a good thing i'm trying not to stress him out but again i'm no i'm no squirrel wrangler or whatever but i've had my fair share of dealing with uh animals so i think i'm handling it the right way uh i could call like an exterminator or something but that's not that's not what i'm doing here i'm not trying to kill this little guy i'm trying to get him out i'm keeping him i'm obviously i'm keeping him fed and, and watered so I'm giving him, uh, I'm giving him interior irrigation. So he's obviously, he's several times, you know, had something to drink, uh, and, and he's eaten. So I did put a carrot in there. I didn't know if they would eat a carrot. I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong food. I don't know. But out in the wild, I mean, you eat what you can get. So, but he definitely likes the nuts and peanut butter. So that's just an update, uh, right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt a grab right now off camera just to see how he acts because if it goes bad you know what I mean I, I mean I just I, I want him to get used to I want him to get used to the the touch so we'll see how it goes maybe I should kind of record it just so you can see I just don't want people flipping out having some kind of negative you know reaction he's he's he is calming down though so I just wanted to give you that update uh, keep in mind the the whole thing with Ken Block. If you don't know who Ken Block is, man, I just don't know, man. It sucks. An interaction. Good. He's probably gonna flip out. But each time we have an interaction, he seems to get a little bit more comfortable. I, I think knowing that he's got no other option. I mean, he's got the option to to do what he's been doing. But look, at, he did come down. It's only been. Like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes from the last time. But you can see, he could, he's definitely tired. And I hope it's not stress, because that's not what I'm trying to do. But I do have to get him out. And he is going to have to get used to seeing these gloves. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light inside. But let's see. Yeah, see, you can't see him when I do that. But if I open this up, see, I got this kind of locked here. But see, 
he is he's still skittish but he is getting used to somewhat hopefully he is getting used to the motions it's okay buddy i'm not trying to scare you so and i know he's scared but you can see he's also tired so it's a losing battle kind of for both of us because i'm just trying to get him out and he's you know having episodes there you go <laughs> He'll come back down. Probably give him like a couple minutes and he'll actually come right back down. Minutes to come down. <laughs> Again, like I said, I'm just trying to get him used. To, and what he's doing is he's coming down and he's going on to the um, the bedding that I put on. It's just a towel. But I'm getting used to him, used to my voice and getting him used to the motion and, and everything. Again, I do want him to be 100% fearful of humans. That's how it should be. But I don't want him to be fearful of the fact that he's inside here and I'm just trying to get him out. So this is like literally, this is the way it's just going to go. I mean, if you've got a better idea and no, a shotgun is not a better idea. No, sicking your dog on it's not a good idea. That's not how this works. I'm just going to get him outside in the safest way that I know how. We'll be back at you, little buddy. Just gonna see how he's reacting right now. This one I suspect I'm gonna have a very tough time with. He's pretty damn smart, man. I've uh, tried to go after him several times. I may have to involve a towel, which that's what I'm gonna go grab right because now. Because this particular one, he's uh, he's settling down. He's getting tired. And again, I'm, I'm trying not to stress him out, but maybe doing a towel, maybe it'll help. I don't know, man. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and go after him right now. We'll see how this goes. This may be a couple of times. I'm hoping I can just get it done in one shot. So I do have a towel. I'm going to move this plant out of the way like that. Show him the towel. This one is built different. <laughs> this one is built different. So I'm gonna go ahead and oh, see. Uh, see, it's the white. See, the lighter color, the lighter color freaked them out. I've been using everything dark. This one, this one is definitely just built different, man. Ah. <sighs> Still, I'm having a hard time getting over Ken Block, man. I, I know it's like he's not like family or anything like that, but the thing is, is that when you've, he's basically the same age as me, and it's got nothing to do with age, and it's got nothing to do with, you know, me trying to put out a video or whatever, trying to, you know, get views with Ken Block. That's not it. I put a thing out there just as a commemoration because it is a sad thing. Is he just a regular guy? Yeah, he is, but he's, he's in the, he's in that limelight. He's popular and he's, he's someone that, um, Ah, I just, guy, yeah, he was an amazing driver. Just sucks. Because this guy is being aggressive, <laughs> I'm going to try something. This is a uh, tube from one of my blower things I've never used. It's um, It was a useless piece of equipment, um, to an extent. <laughs> I put a uh, cap on the end, and the intent is to hopefully get him to go down here. Gonna find out in like two seconds if this is gonna work. Should only take two seconds to see if this is even something that's feasible. It leaves a huge opening. That's the only issue for him to kind of jet out. I'm just trying to see if he'll go in it. Sorry, buddy. So he's actually in the tube. So he's in there. Partially. See how he's in there. Yep, that didn't work. <laughs> I had to try something. 
I'm sorry, little buddy. I'm really, and I'm being gentle, as gentle as I can be too, man. I'm really not trying to hurt this poor little guy. <sighs> All right, well, I gotta grab the thing now. Let's see if he lets me grab it. I know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I really didn't. Wasn't my intent to hurt you. Ah, see. Poor thing. Alright, well that was a fail. I'm gonna try it again, because... It was semi-successful... To an extent. So what I want to see... Is if I can get him... Inside the tube... It'll probably go straight up. Oh, man, I'm really not trying to hurt this poor little guy. Girl guy. I think he's a guy. All right, here we go. Going in hot. See, he's holding on to it. See, he's in the tube. He's actually in it. He's in the tube. Tricked me. Come on. Come on. I'm not trying to hurt you. Damn it. Poor thing. He's getting used to. He's getting used to the motion. He's getting used to everything. So. I'm going to try the tube thing again. I don't know if it's going to work. But I'm going to at least give it a shot. He's probably going to jet up. As soon as he sees this come in. But what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get him to go into the tube. Because I figure if I can get him into the tube, he'll be good. Yep. Poor thing. God damn it, you are tough, man. You're the toughest one so far. And this is number, well, technically this is number three. There's one that you guys never knew about. Hey, buddy. I even tried throwing the... I even tried throwing the towel in at him. I draped it like this, and I kind of threw it in, and he just basically went like this and took it down, so... <sighs> little buddy, he is a warrior. Ah, oh, you little warrior. If I throw this on and try to reach my arm in... See, the problem is, is going this way is it leaves too much of an opening getting my arm around for him to get out and then that way he'll get into the house so i'm gonna let him chill right there he'll, he'll chill right there well i mean he's done kind of going up for now i mean i'm right here so i'll be back if anything changes i'm gonna see if i can take advantage of that I'm so sorry there, little buddy. Seriously. It doesn't have to be this way at all, man. You know that, right? It doesn't have to be this way at all. You're making this so hard on yourself. Yep, there he is. He's out. See, the problem is, is going this way, is it leaves too much of an opening getting my arm around for him to get out. And then that way he'll get into the house. Yep, there he is, he's out. He's out and he's in the house. This is what I was afraid of. All right, so. This actually might not be a bad thing. All right, there we go. Where are you going? <laughs> Bro, 
crap. <laughs> He's loose louse. See, now you're getting in the bad places here, buddy. Where the hell do you go now? Uh. All right, he might have gone out. noises there he goes and he's out <laughs> and he's gone <laughs> he break nothing all right so anyways I see guy garage and he got out not necessarily the way that I want him to but maybe this is the way I should have done it in the first place so there's your update little squirrels gone he didn't break anything in the house he did kind of like Go throughout the house and I thought, I thought Colby was going to get him too. Colby being like that terrier kind of dog. Uh, well, he's safe. He's definitely happy now. And, um, yeah, just remember Ken Block for who and what he was to the automotive industry. And not only that, just in general as an individual that pushed forward and did so much for uh, the community. So, it sucks, man. I'm out.